Okay, let's have a look at this repair. We come all the way down the boom, right the way down to the bottom to the gooseneck. See, here's the mast. You can see that we've uh, put a really big substantial beam in, which goes right the way across, across the top of this stainless steel plate here. Now what happened is basically this pin with the eye nut on the top goes down through the gooseneck fitting and down through the deck where it's supposed to have a, a, a nut on the bottom. Basically it's broken off about here, right where my finger is. So the only thing that's stopping the boom ripping off is this stainless steel plate, this big thick stainless steel plate, which is actually held on to the aluminium casting here at the base of the mast with two bolts, these two big bolts, one either side. And the thread in there is a little bit suspect. And if the boom were to lift up at all and, and lift up this big stainless plate, it would just rip these bolts straight out of the casting and we'd have no boom. So what we've done here, effectively, is held held this stainless steel plate down and hopefully that'll last us all the way around because it puts these these two bolts back into shear. But you can see the beam is made up of um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten sail battens all uh, glued together and then there's a, a big uh, Vectran lashing which goes round them and down through the deck that side and of course the other side as well and hopefully that'll hold the whole thing down that'll hold the whole thing down and uh, and stop it, uh, stop it kicking up and, and ripping off, fingers crossed. It certainly stopped all the nasty cracking noises that I used to get from the boom before I did it. Okay, well here's the underside of the deck. This is where the uh, pin used to come out when it had one for the, uh, for the gooseneck. And uh, you can see this is where the lashings uh, come through the deck, one here and one there. So if we stand back a little way, you'll see that the uh, lashings come all the way down to a strong point. Um, down here, in the bottom of the boat, it's actually an old old pipe and that's been uh, laminated, stuck down to the keel. And you can see this really thick spectra there that's twisted up in a Spanish windlass with these uh, with these other battens here. So that's pulling the whole thing down to this strong point here and stop it, stopping those uh, stopping those uh, stopping that big girder on deck ripping off. And you can see that these uh, these cables here. Are Absolutely bar tight like iron, so uh, hopefully we'll be uh, we'll be okay. The other thing we've repaired is the uh, is the generator mounts as well. You can see uh, the generators on four little mounts, one at each corner. And uh, what we've had to do is where the uh, where the rubber mounts here have actually uh, broken, they've just ripped up, ripped apart, and then the other side the bolts have the bolts have pulled out that's on the, on, the, on the far side of the generator. The whole thing was in free fall so what we've done is put some carbon dowels uh, through, the, um, through the engine beds and then lashed around with a bit of Vectran to hold the whole thing down and uh, it's, it's all pretty solid now. It doesn't move at all so that's, uh, that's good. Hopefully that'll, that'll stay put for the rest of the race.